Hey guys, it's Dan Ross Probs here, and welcome back to Wrath Survival by G2 Crafted. This is episode 3, and my god, I have been extremely busy on this one today. Um, as you can see, uh, I've gone all out here and made a green house. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this wood, I think it's funny, so I wanted to just make a little bit of a, a house for once in my life. It's absolutely terrible. It's very square. It's a bit of a joke. <laughs> I don't really do building, as you probably know. Um, but I wanted to play around with all this green stuff we have. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a tour here. But I did hear um, pillagers. Yeah, so I think I got uh, some pillager dudes here. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> Oh my god, there's five of them. He's actually in my boat. Um, I wonder how that works, actually. If I kill that pillager captain, if I go and see those mermaids, does that mean I'm in a village? Interesting. <laughs> Should we test that? Should we test that? I think we will in a second. I'll just do a bit of a tour in a minute. So, what I'm trying to do here is the roof is just going to be a load of bamboo. Now, the purpose of this was... So I can see it in a distance, because obviously bamboo grows quite high. Obviously, if I go out in my boat somewhere, um, I'm going to be able to see it from a distance, right? Fingers crossed. As you can see, this is very square. Um, ouch. And yes, this is my little fishing area. So basically, I'll fish off here. I've got my rod in there. And I've just kind of sorted everything out here. Uh, it's a complete mess right now. I do need to kind of... Make it a bit more neater, but I've got this spare chest at the top here. I went down and got some sea pickles and made some lime uh, dye. Um, cooked it in a furnace, basically. I don't know if there's a way of getting cactus, because I think that green would be more fitting. But for now, we're sticking with lime. Same with the glass. And just out here, I've got a load of wheat growing, sugar cane. I was growing the sugar cane. Oh, my God. Because I thought that was a quick and easy way of getting a load of dirt. Um... With the mulcher. This is set up. I've used the horrible diorite <laughs> and um, a granite just to set it up for a cobblestone generator. Obviously, I'm going to put water here and then lava. Now, the interesting thing about that is I caught a bucket of lava and I caught a bucket whilst fishing. So, you might have seen that already. So, yeah, I've got this crucible, but I've already got my piece of lava for it. So I probably will use that only for making um, obsidian. But somebody said in the comment section of episode 2 that you can actually catch obsidian whilst fishing. So I'm yet to catch that, but that's pretty good to uh, know. And in here, I just got a bit of a tree farm. I thought it was quite funny just to leave a bit of water because they're technically banana trees. I don't know. It made sense to me. And I just got a load of torches around so they grow at night. And... Yeah, we've got a crafting table and a furnace here. And then I've got this to get up and obviously to get down. So I'm going to show you this quickly. I thought it would be cool if I made some sort of like tunnel or pathway to these mermaid people. So watch this. Look, when I get to about here, I don't lose any breath anymore, which is pretty cool. Technically, underground. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> so close. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to so far, guys. Um, thank you very much for all the support, as always. And yes, I'm going to go and kill that pillager guy. I wasn't going to, but I just heard him. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and go out on my boat. I'm a bit scared, though, because this guy's in there. Apparently, he can shoot you from behind. How many crossbows did he just drop? What? Maybe it was just the one. It kind of glitched. I don't know. Well, let's go. Where's that captain gun? Uh, captain, where did you go? <laughs> I think he's died or he's disappeared. Maybe he despawned? I don't know. That's weird. We've lost him. Okay, so we can't do what I was going to do then. Oh, well. But anyway, let's make this cobblestone generator. And I actually... Whoa. I'll put my boat back in a minute. 
I actually caught a loot crate again. And I'm really intrigued to see if this is the actual market. So let's try this. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this... Oh my god, it worked. This thing, I think, is what is actually causing this uh, map to crash, apparently. Uh, so I need to get eight iron uh, ingots and two pieces of redstone to get a crusher. So what I'm going to do is break that and remember that for now. I don't really want to keep using that too much because if it is that that is crashing it, I don't really want to lose any footage or anything again. Um, so what I'm going to do is take this a minute. And I actually want to take this to just actually see how this kind of functions. So I'm going to go out here. Probably put it somewhere around here. So according to it, you need to put it on a crucible. What the hell? Okay. Let's try that again. Why am I just put it there? Is it a lit anyway? I think that is working. I need to, I need to get some cobblestone. So what we're going to do is make this into a generator in a minute. So from what I remember in the book, it was three pieces of this. Yeah, look. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can I just place another one in straight away or no? There we go. Okay, right. Okay, I get it. Three of them and then it's going to fill up and then I can obviously take a bucket out i gotcha okay that makes sense that's pretty cool it's filling up and there we go nice cool right i'm gonna grab a crafting table in a minute one crafting table there we go that will stop that from getting broken all the time wow look green particles are coming out <laughs> so next i need to just put a load of um slabs on the top of it stop it burning although it won't actually burn but it will catch a light. There we go. Kind of just do this sort of thing. A standard kind of cobblestone generator here. Okay. Ta-da. All right. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Very, very, very cool stuff. So, what about if I try to put it in there? It does actually work. Okay. Okay. Because it said something about if I put water on it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's easily amazed, right? Easily amazed. That is pretty cool. I quite like that a lot. Can I put water in it then? No. Interesting. So I can just keep doing that until I get enough obsidian to go to the nether, pretty much. Nice. So I'm going to grind out a bit of cobblestone for a minute. Um, I shall be back. So I got quite a lot of cobble and what I'm going to do now is just go for a bit of a fish because I only need four more pieces of iron ingot to actually buy this crusher. At first go, I just caught two. So I only need two more pieces. Brilliant. Uh, what happens if I actually break this? Okay, I get it back. It says it's lit now. Whereas before... It was always saying it was lit. I'm slightly confused here because when I put that on the campfire, I didn't like it. What happens if I go here? Lit. I think it's always lit. Hmm, I'm pretty sure in the book it said something about putting it on campfire. Heat your crucible using a campfire. Hmm. So I just caught a another loot crate. Now I'm really intrigued here. It does it's another one of them? Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared of using these. Quick, get rid of it. There we go. Right. I got four there, and I think I got five. So I possibly only need one more to make a, a never portal now. I am debating whether to just get my sieve out and um, sieve some gravel to try and get iron a bit quicker. Because so far, I've only caught this stuff. Maybe I'm just being impatient here. I think I'll catch this one. That's it, guys. That is the last piece of obsidian I'm going to need. And 
damn it. We didn't get iron. Oh, well. That's cool. Right. I got a bit of gravel, of course. So let's get my little sieve here. Got 12 pieces. And have I got any more kicking around? Yeah, there's a bit more there. I reckon I'll be able to get this quite easily. Right, let's just plonk that there for a minute. Let's try and get some iron then. There's one little nugget. I can hear llamas, so I guess the trader's here again. What is with that guy? Oh, I'm not getting very lucky here. Oh, an emerald. Hmm. Okay, I'm too intrigued to see <laughs> what this never is actually going to be like. So let's just make a flint and steel. Maybe I can find some iron there. I don't even know what to expect. I'm really, I'm really intrigued by this. I really am. Um, where, where do I put this? I think I'm just going to go a bit in front of my cobblestone generator. Maybe if I kind of put it this way. Boom. <laughs> right, I need to uh, make sure I I've got good stuff on me. I mean, my, my fishing rod's the only good thing I'm worried about here. The rest of it isn't too bad. Uh, let's just put the fishing rod back in here. Okay, so I've got a few blocks here with me. And just before I do go in, I actually smashed up the raft that you start on. And look what these planks are called. Never brick block <laughs> never break slab and never break fence so this has really caught my attention because uh does that mean the nevers gonna have planks everywhere <laughs> i'm so intrigued let's just go and find out together come on right let's do this i'm so scared as well <sighs> wish me luck Okay, it's looking like a fairly standard never so far. So I'm just mining this uh, never quartz because I remember that it's quartz and something. I, I need quartz. I remember I need quartz for something involving getting to the ender dragon, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to have a look around in a minute and see if I can see planks. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. We need to find a fortress. Um, I'm totally not geared up for this, so hopefully I didn't get destroyed here. Now, pigmen are going to be quite valuable. Look at this. <laughs> I was right. Yes. Oh, it's an Enderman. Oh, Mr. Enderman. We're going to have to get you. Just in case you drop a pearl. Just going two more, just in case. Come here, you. Whoa. No, he didn't drop one. Oh, well. Right, let's get to that fortress, guys. <laughs> Look at me. I'm in the nether with some scuba goggles on. How random. <laughs> oh, this is quite funny. I wonder if you can uh, sieve soul sand. I know it didn't say anything about it. Oh, there's gravel there as well, isn't there? Look at this. <laughs> this is so random. This just doesn't look right. <laughs> okay. Surely this shouldn't... This shouldn't light up. I am on hard, so I'm a bit scared. Okay. Okay. I think I've, I've, I'm going to die. Oh, no. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> this is so weird. Right. I think I'll leave the uh, fortress for a minute. That's pretty cool. I found one straight away, though. I mean, they are very visible. Um, I'm going to take some soul sand and just see if we can actually sieve that. And I might take some gravel as well. But I need to be careful of uh, gas and things like that. Okay, I think I've pretty much got a stack here of gravel. So let's go back, sieve that. And hopefully, if my luck's okay, I will get some iron uh, nuggets. We can make iron ingots and then we can get this crusher. And then I won't have to come back here to get gravel. Um, the only thing I'm going to need to come back here for is probably blaze rods. Because I 
think, if I remember correctly, that's how I get those... Well, I need to make Eyes of Ender anyway to light the portal, right? So, yeah. Enderman is going to be a struggle to get, I think. It's going to be tough to get them. Just thinking about the Ender Pearl situation, I think, actually, it would be better if I find a cleric -y, mermaid -y guy. And possibly he will have the trades for it. And I can see some down there. So, I still think... What I'll do off camera for episode 4 is probably make some sort of tunnel, like I said, to get there so I can get there easier. I have got, I did catch a, another water breathing potion, look. So I've got 3 minutes there. And I've got quite a lot of gold nuggets anyway. Right, there's 25 there, 64 there, and 3 there, look. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get sieving this and hopefully I can get enough uh, iron nuggets. Thinking about it, you actually... You actually get leveled up as well when you do these sieving things. I think it's the same with all of it. So it's actually a good way of getting free XP. Where am I going? Okay, we haven't got quite enough guys still. Um, okay, yeah, I wanted to try actually. Can you sieve soul sand? No. What about Neverack? No. I didn't think so. I think it is only uh, sand, gravel, and dirt. I think. So I'm just going to do some fishing now and hopefully catch those iron ores I actually need to get this little thing. Okay, I caught 12 pieces of gravel here. Oh my god, a diamond! No way! Okay, so you can get diamonds and emeralds. There we go, we've got some more iron. Come on! Please give me some more iron ingots. Uh, nuggets, sorry. Iron nugget, iron nugget, iron nugget, iron nugget, iron nugget, iron nugget. Why game, why? Four more. We're gonna get these last four, I swear. Way! We just caught some! Woohoo! Finally! Right, now we can actually see how this crusher functions and what it actually does. Hello? Come on! Yes! Right. Right, we need to get this sacred shop out here. Oh god. Be careful here. We've got to be quick. No, oh, quick. Oh no, I didn't take the redstone. There it is. Quick. Trade. Boom. Whew. We did it. <laughs> okay, so the crusher requires a redstone torch, it says. Uh, I've got a stick here. And we got some redstone here. Cool. And we make one redstone torch. And I'm just going to grab the book a minute, just to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. Uh, let's get rid of that. Put that over there. Right, let's just quickly read up on this. Place any type of raw stone, andesite, diorite, granite, etc. in the crusher to make cobblestone. Place cobblestone in the crusher to make gravel. Okay. Um, we're going to just see what happens. So it requires a redstone torch. Do I put it next to it? No. I guess I kind of just give it to it, do I? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, stone. Oh, my God. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So it's one for... Oh, no, it's not. It gives you three. Okay. So this is how I'm going to make a load of gravel, right? That looks so cool, doesn't it? How many did you get from it? Two. It kind of looks like a face, two eyes, a mouth, <laughs> and he's got glasses on. I like it. Okay, well, this is how I'm going to get a load of iron and stuff for free. So what happens if I do die right then? Just changes to cobblestone. Right, okay. Well, that's a good way of getting rid of that horrible die right. Oh, I like that a lot. It's really, really cool. Right, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Damaris Probs, and that is the end of episode three on Raft Survival by G2 Crafted. I shall catch you tomorrow around the same sort of time. And yes, I'm going to do a bit more grinding, I think, and probably make some sort of weird tunnel or some sort of way. I don't know if these guys, these mermaids, can actually breathe without being underwater, if that makes sense. Probably not. But we can have a play. Um, maybe I can make the water level just like one block high. 
and maybe they'll be all right. I don't know. <laughs> we have to have a play. But basically, I want to go down there because I want to see if I can find one that sells enderpearls. But anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!